What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Thursday, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. It's Monday morning, everybody. I hope you have an amazing week. And uh, I am not even halfway through my coffee yet, so that's why uh, that's why we get the weird intro. Okay, so I wanted to share something with you that was mentioned in Mav Chat, which I... I know many folks don't necessarily follow MavChat or even Discord, so that's why I try to post things on here that I think could be of interest for you. And while, you know, stuff that is mentioned in MavChat isn't necessarily law until, you know, it's it's not the Bible. You, we really want to wait until there's a post out. Um, I think it is interesting because something was mentioned by Aggie on his birthday yesterday. So happy birthday, Aggie. Uh, something that he said that I never thought would even be admitted to. <laughs> so, um, and not in a bad way, but here, this is what I'm talking about. So uh, Chance the Guy says, do you think this will lead to uh, less than 15 million print of Rebellion? And he was responding to what Aggie said. I do think we're going to target a nine month sellout instead of a 12 month sellout. So Aggie has said that in the past, and I didn't think anything of it outside of the fact, I didn't think anything of it from a pack quantity perspective. I just figured that the way that they're going to design it in the future, obviously the quantity is going to, to matter, but I wasn't thinking about it in those terms. So he said, you know, when, when Aggie said, I do think we're going to target a nine month sell, he said, do you think this will lead uh, to a less than 15 month? million print of rebellion and aggie actually said it's in the realm of possibility now i never thought that the team would say that they were going that chaos agent was going to print less than uh i'm sorry rebellion was going to print less than chaos legion because in a way it's like an admission of it's like an admission of being wrong not that the team has to admit anything or that they're hiding anything but it's just like ah uh, yeah well we kind of printed too many like for example i don't think we're going to burn any packs and i know people have been calling for that they want to do like a dow proposal but i like i just don't think that's going to happen i i do think we're going to sell out of packs <clears throat> hopefully hopefully by the end of the year but even if it goes into 2023 you know it, it's going to be it's going to be what it's going to be now in light of what was said yesterday in the, the map chat, as well as in light of the fact that the crypto markets are tanking, actually all the markets are tanking once again, on the fears that the Fed may go harder on raising interest rates uh, due to inflation still being very high, at least here in the U.S., and I'm sure around the world, but I'm sp specifically talking about the Fed here in the U.S. And, inflation, and fighting inflation here in the U.S., but I know that has ripple effects throughout the, other, the rest of the world economy. Um, Part of me looks at this and I've been saying that, you know, we may see a slight rally between now and, you know, the election here, the midterm elections in November. But I'm actually not very bullish on 2023. And so looking ahead and, and you know, I, I'm quite confident that Rebellion will come out at some point in 2023 unless Chaos Legion doesn't sell out for like another nine months or something and they want to put a lot of time in between. So that means that if I am bearish on 2023 as a global macro economy, right? Like, I don't think we're going to get it right just yet. We have to break some things first before we can start fixing them. So if 2023 is going to be a rough year, then maybe coming out and trying to release a product uh, such as Rebellion that has either equal or more cards in it uh, or packs in it, I should say, than Chaos Legion wouldn't be the smartest move. And now I get the whole nine month sellout instead of 12 month sellout. Because again, like I said, and this is just stupid of me, right? When, when Aggie was saying nine months sellout, I was assuming, well, it's still going to be 15 million, maybe even more than 15 million. But that was assuming, you know, uh, a significant player growth to eat up all of these packs, or at least whales coming in and wanting to speculate uh, very heavily. So now that we've gotten this nine month sellout, instead of 12 months sellout, as well as the realm of possibility from Aggie, I, I think that this is somewhat profound news. Now, again, we're all just speculating here, but for everybody who said, will, you know, will Rebellion have less packs than Chaos Legion, and which I responded to you, and I said, there's no way, I'm telling you here that I was wrong. <laughs> I, I got it wrong. I mean, in my opinion, I don't think there was ever a chance, but now you have the CEO saying it here. So I want to let you know for all the people who thought this or who asked me and I responded quite confidently saying, no, I was wrong. And here is your, the evidence to prove that you were right or at least have a claim to being, uh, to being right on this. So 
yeah, it, it, it makes sense in the context of if the player base doesn't grow significantly. And I would say even though Rift Watchers sold out quite fast the pre-sale, we're going to have to see how the Rift Watchers, like the rest of the Rift Watcher sale goes. And we'll have to see how the rest of the, the releases go. Uh, because I think most of these things coming up, right, Tower Defense, uh, Rooney, GLS, um, they're, they're going to be bringing people into the Splinterlands ecosystem, not necessarily the Splinterlands game. And there is a positive uh, feedback loop there in some ways where you get somebody into the ecosystem and they discover the game, like myself. They might stick around and, and might go heavy and invest in it because they're like, oh, this is actually a pretty good game, right? I came for Tower Defense or I came for GLS or I came for you know, Rooney or something like that. So there is a chance to reach a broader audience. Now, what that looks like if Bitcoin starts dipping down into the low teens, as many people are thinking, or if you know the, the market collapses or the high housing market collapses like again we don't know what the next six months are <clears throat> excuse me we don't know what the next six months are going to look like from a macro perspective but i can tell you right now it's not looking good inflation is still hot and the fed is still very uh hawkish i think is the term so that bringing that back to splinterlands the fact that the team is at least considering doing a less than 15 million print run for rebellion I think is significant, and I wanted to share that with you. So even if even if it was just so that you could point and laugh at me and see and say, "Ha ha, I told you so," I want to give you that satisfaction. So please feel free in the comments if you said that to me, if you had asked me at some point and I said, "There's no way," now you can point and laugh at me and say, "Ha ha, I told you so." <laughs> so it was a surprise for me, and I wanted to share it with you. But let me get your thoughts now with. I guess some of the new information that we have, like I said, the craziness of last week, I know there's a bullish sentiment within Splinterlands that it can overcome this bear market, but how are you feeling about things overall? Not just Splinterlands, but everything and how it relates to Splinterlands. I'm curious to get your comments, uh, your thoughts in the comments below. So let me know. I will catch you all in the next video and I will see you around the game. Take care.